would like to invite you to partake of communion now in celebration of the union and by way of providing us with a sacred ritual of sacrifice, of rededication, of the purging light. As you come forward to receive communion, won't you rejoice in the opportunity to once again lay upon the altar of God a portion of self to be emptied that you might be filled truly and literally with the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truly one drop of his blood, truly his very flesh, is the substance that he placed upon the altar and upon the cross for the transmutation of the manipulation of the children of the light, of their genes and of their chromosomes with the seed of rebellion. As we look up across the face of the earth, we see that the light bearers have been penetrated with seeds of rebellion. And this is why there is a wrestling by the angels of the Lord with the light bearers themselves as they go after those seeds of rebellion. Jesus said to me this very day, this is why I gave my life that my own momentum of light of Alpha and Omega, which is called the body and blood and which manifests as the body and blood while we wear these temples, that that essence might enter the children of the light and neutralize or transmute the seeds of rebellion. If you have experienced rebellion in your life against the love of God and his ordinances that are for you, Realize that you can shed that point of rebellion and that point of indulgence that you have allowed because of rebellion through accepting this salvation of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ multiplied by Lord Maitreya, Lord Gautama, Lord Sanat Kumara and all of the saints of heaven whose body and blood has become that essence, that sacrificial essence. This is the true meaning of transmutation. And in connection with communion, it is called transubstantiation, whereby through the invocation of God, we accept that the wafer and the wine becomes the focal point of the charge of Alpha and Omega of Jesus and through Jesus of our own mighty I am presence. And because this course is through our veins and consciousness and mind and heart, we receive the essence of his sacrifice, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and his ascension. There is no other light, no other promise, no other way that we can rise in attainment than by this communion. And we know that our communion in God is always by the word made flesh in the blessed teachings and dictations of the ascended masters. And this ritual affords us in the walk to the altar the opportunity to in our hearts and in the secret chamber thereof confess our sins and come out of our Sunday service free, invigorated, strengthened, ready to deal with our weak. God bless you. Let us stand for the blessing of the bread and the wine. May I have the chalice, please. O eternal God, thou who art one, with all life, with the blessed consciousness of everyone who has ever lived upon the planetary body and held sweet awareness of thyself. Thou who hast broken the bread of life in the midst of the earliest temples of the brotherhood, thou who has showered upon mankind awareness of thy kingdom of other worlds of the strange and beautiful beauty that is in thy consciousness be now father mother eternal God unto each one of us help us to hold gentle awareness of thy perfection working in these walls of time and serving to remind us 
that we can indeed make our lives sublime. For thou hast already prepared the matrix of perfection and endowed each heart and being with that matrix. Forgive us for our errors, the tragedies that we have created as we have gazed upon darkness rather than light. Help us to the newness of discovery of that rainbow of promise shining just beyond the bend in the wall of time. Let us see that hope is everywhere, that hope is real tonight for our world, regardless of the appearances of tragedy and takeover and the thrust of the denizens of darkness. Reveal to us thy light, thy sweet and subtle light that shineth greater than any light that has ever shone upon land or upon sea. And break thou the bread of life with each of us, communing with us this night in memory of our Lord and Savior of the eternal crystal, the fountain from Eden that is the creator and the tree of life, that from the beginning of the ages was the foundation of the divine seed in man, springing up as immortality and fruition, as maturity and beauty, as the perfection of the plan in the life of each one that will change us effectively from glory unto glory, even as by thy spirit. In thee is no darkness, but only the light of light. And that light is the light of men. So be it, so do thou this that we ask of thee this night. And let thy hand and the hand of the angels change the substance we take into our bodies into the spiritual essence of the sacred fire that as there passes down into the center of our body these broken fragments we take and partake of in memory of thee, we may also understand the cup of the mission that is before us each one. To partake of this is our joy. And may we surrender beautifully and completely, not only for this hour, O Father, but for every hour to come, when thy perfectionment shall make us all at last one without fear or torment. It is to thy nearness that we dedicate ourselves for thou art with us always, even to the end of the age of cycles and the beginning of the new. Our Father, so do thou this thing in the name of the living Christ and to the sacraments of our immortal soul and the light thereof. It is done in the name of God. It is done in the name of Christ. It is done in the name of the brotherhood eternal. So be it. In the name of the I am that I am, beloved mighty I am presence, Lord God Almighty, Alpha and Omega, beloved Helios and Vesta, receive now each supplicant, each devotee and communicant of thy word who comes forth. Let each one be given the opportunity for the new day, for the establishment of Christ the Lord within his temple, to be strengthened in our union, to be strengthened in our love, O oh God, to be strengthened for the victory and for the day of days of the overcoming of darkness by light everywhere. Dedicate us then, O oh God, to the solving of those crimes in Atlanta and in every city, in Los Angeles and throughout the earth. Let us stand as pillars of fire as we stand, let it be for the strengthening of the counterparts 
of individuals who nation by nation have the courage to be and to speak thy name and to speak the word of truth. Defend all true hearts everywhere by the light of Camelot, encircled by the forefinger, the index finger of the Lord Sanat Kumara, who draws the line of the circle, seals us in protection, in love and oneness. Let this consecration of this union and this community of the Holy Spirit be for the strength of life bearers everywhere, worlds without end. Let us know, O God, that because we stand, thy cause will endure in the earth. In the holy name of the brotherhood, amen.